Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. What's up guys, I'm Andy from 1A Auto. Today I'm going to show you how to check all the fluids in this 2007 Mini Cooper S. If you need parts for your vehicle, click the link in the description and head over to 1AAuto.com. Open the door. Over here, down near your, the footrest, there's a little lever. Pull that lever. So the hardest part about this is trying to find the hood safety. Um, it's over in this vicinity over here. What you want to do is take a ruler or a tape measure, line it up with the eye, and go over nine inches, and then grab underneath there, and then you're just going to feel a little lever. You're going to push up. That's the lever. We're going to check the oil level now. Um, what you're going to want to do is have your engine up to an operating temperature, and then you're going to park on a level surface and then you're gonna let the vehicle sit for five minutes. Then you can come out to the dipstick, which is right here. Pull the dipstick up. You're gonna wipe it with a paper towel or a rag. Reinsert the dipstick. Pull the dipstick out again. It's kind of hard to see, but our oil level is right here in the middle, so we could actually top it off a little bit. This up here is the max level, and this down here is the min level. So as long as it's in there, you're at least a little bit good, but we could top it off a little bit. And then reinsert the dipstick. To top the oil off, the oil cap is right here. Unscrew it to the left and pull it off. You can use a funnel and check your owner's manual for the appropriate oil type. Pop it off and then put the cap back on, turn it to the right. Your coolant overflow bottle is located right here. You want to make sure when you check the coolant level um, that the vehicle is cold. You don't want to be checking this when it's hot. So you can unscrew the cap here and you can look down inside to see the level. There is some marks on the side of the tank right there. Sometimes you can see them without taking the cap off. You could actually, it helps sometimes put a flashlight in the reservoir so it illuminates it a little bit. And if you shake the reservoir a little bit. So the min line is right here on the bottom. The max line is up top. So you want it somewhere in between there. If your coolant level is really low, you're gonna to wanna to top it off with the appropriate coolant that is in your owner's manual. And if it is low, then there could be a possible leak in the system that you would need to further investigate to reinstall the cap. Just line it up, screw it down. There is no radiator cap in this vehicle. All the coolant to be added would go in this overflow bottle. To top off your washer fluid or to check the washer fluid, the reservoir is right here. It's kind of a clear bottle. The cap, to pull the cap off, you're going to grab the tab right here, pull it off. You can see it, it's not too low, but we'll just top it off a little bit. You're going to want to use um, a good washer fluid. You don't want to use water in here, especially if you're in cold climates, because then it could freeze. Um, they make other kinds of washer fluids that help with removing ice or other ones that also help with cleaning bugs off the windshield. Then once you're done filling it up, take the cap, just lock it down. To check the brake fluid, over here there's a little cover. Um, you're going to release this tab, just pull this forward, and then this cover slides open like that. Brake fluid cap is right here. You want to take a rag and wipe off any dust or dirt. You don't want any of that getting into the brake fluid when you're checking it. There is a min and max line on the side. If you can see that, then you can check it right there. Sometimes if you shake the, the 
reservoir a little bit, you can see where the fluid level is. This one's a little bit high. To take the cap off, we're gonna twist it to the left. On this cap, it actually says the type of fluid. Um, it is a dot four brake fluid. So you can top it off there and then put the cap back on. If your brake fluid level is very low, it's a good idea to check out the rest of the brake system to see if you have a leak or if your brake pads are very low because generally the fluid will not just evaporate. If it is low, there is a problem. And you're gonna wanna find out what that problem is. Now we'll close the lid, slide it down, and then lock it in place. On this manual transmission, this is a lifetime fluid. If you were having problems with your transmission and there was fluid leaking, you would need to bring it to a specialist. But it is not recommended that you check or add any fluid to this vehicle. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts, fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.